Hey, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday morning here in Cypress, Texas. So, um, this morning, <laughs> I uh, I got up. I, I actually, I don't know what happened. I got up. I was awake after about three o'clock. I never really got back to sleep. And uh, alarm went off. Got up and read my scriptures, and it was interesting how um, I started off in uh, in um, First John or John chapter one. Yeah, I'm sorry, Matthew chapter one, and um, in. Uh, this is the twentieth day of the month. I've been in this same chapter twenty times, and uh, both Matthew and um, Genesis um, were real. It was like a, they're real familiar, right? You know, it's like it's like a comfort reading these chapters. And that's something. And uh, it uh, in um, I'm thinking about how Joseph was, must have been must have felt when the angel told him. You know uh, that this child of Mary's was going to be conceived by the Holy Spirit, and um, you know that he was going to be called Emmanuel, God with us, right? So he's realizing, okay, oh. This is, you know, the Christ. This is who the prophets told about. This is, he's coming into, into my house. I'm going to be taking care of, the, of this valuable person. Okay. I mean, like, uber valuable, right? I mean, the... the the one is who I'm going to be taking care of. Okay. Oh, what an honor this is, you know. And then in um in Genesis, there's a uh, two. Uh, it's definitely bifurcated. Um, Jacob, how he's dealing with Esau, and then and knowing that Esau, what he is, right? He's a very ambitious um, person. You know, he's he's literally rivaling um, Nimrod, and. Uh, First, he's like, you know, giving him all these goats and and cattle and sheep. And uh, it's like a peace offering. <laughs> you know, he's hoping you butter him up and, you know, that was Jacob for sure, man. Um... Don't you like doing business with... I remember title companies, man. Title companies coming. Give you all kinds of gee-dunk. Tickets to events and all kinds of stuff. You know, for the, for the title business. Help you. Then, then now they totally... They, uh... 
They changed all the rules. Won't let them do that. Couldn't let them do that anymore. They do that. They they find out ways that, that people are, you know, getting business or having success, and they'll try to find a way to tax it or or uh, curtail it for some reason for some way reason. Um. That happened in the mortgage business. You can't, you can't make near the money in the mortgage business now as you used to. Just the way the rules are. They, 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 um, if you're a banker, if you're a bank, you're a, a, a investment banker, you know, you can, you can disclose the SRP and the rebate and all that. But you can't if you're a broker. It gives a real unfair advantage to brokers or to, to the bank to the banks. Um, you know, but the reason they're doing that is because people, oh my god, people just take unfair just total unfair advantage of of people, you know, playing their ignorance like you've never seen. You know, very unethical. Uh, and it's gonna that that industry's taking a hit again. Um, wild. They're uh, just because rates are up. Been through that before. Um, the uh, but the uh. Didn't get that much out of Psalms this time, you know. But I got a long way to go with Psalms. Um, I'll be reading Psalms for the next 10 years this way. <laughs> but anyway. The... It was something that happened. I, I got a, a trip to Dallas. Um, I'm leaving tomorrow, and uh, it's interesting how uh, my mind started going. So I got allowed my mind to go into my preparation for going to to Dallas. Very interesting. All right. I'm going to go on my run and uh, do their mitzvahs and then gonna make bean soup and ham in the crock pot for my trip. I'm gonna freeze it and take it with me on my trip. And then um, go to the gym and then um, yeah I'm getting ready for my um, workshop I'm doing a workshop tonight 6 o'clock on Zoom right have a great Wednesday. All right, bye.